Hello, um, this is the Anal Repulsive Cook again. Um, today I've uh, decided that I'm going to cook these Amy's dinners uh, right here, Amy's. And uh, I have one light and lean uh, spinach lasagna. This is uh, for vegetarians only. And then I have another uh, vegetable lasagna and I'm going to mix the two. And then I'm going to take the ingredients that it has uh, there's some pasta in there. I'm going to leave the pasta as it is. There's some tomato puree, zucchini, uh, skim milk, mozzarella, parmesan. And I'm going to just take whatever's on this list. And I'm going to anally, repulsively uh, put things in it. Whoops. And a little wine. Of course, you need a little wine. Uh, and as I go, I'll explain you uh, all the ingredients that that are extra that uh, will just make this delicious when it's finished. And at the end of this video, you will see a magical creation, anally, re re not retentive, anally repulsively cooked. And let me just say something. I always just leave everything as it is. I cook and I clean the next day because it's just, cooking is supposed to be relaxing. And in these hectic days of all these cellular devices and and uh, being here and being there and recording this and recording that, searching for this on the internet and searching for that on the internet, <sighs> cooking is a stress reliever. So again, here we have the pasta dinners. Mm, it smells so good. So first I'm gonna add a little wine to it. Ah, uh, the sound of wine. Not too much, just a little bit. And of course, there won't be any alcoholic for, uh, alcohol in it because for those people who are in AA, the alcohol burns out. Then, I'm going to add a little extra ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. And this is low fat, by the way, so uh, as you can see, I'm not fat, so uh, I always watch what I eat, and this is part skim, which makes uh, for some added protein. And uh, you've got to mix it up a little here because I used, I've already opened it. You've got to mix it up a little here because I already opened it. Um, and you got the water in there. You don't want that in there. So you mix that up. Of course, anal repulsively. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so you put a couple of spoonfuls of ricotta cheese in there, maybe three. And you're adding five grams of protein, which is a... Uh, uh, quite a bit if you put three servings in there which is what I did <clears throat> excuse me you have 30 percent if you eat it all um, of your protein daily requirement the next I'm gonna put a little oregano in there mm, this is gonna be delicious some oregano oh <laughs> sorry some oregano and then I'm, I'm gonna add some you don't have to you don't have to uh, Oh, here. And so anal retentive, I uh, lost the top. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, anal repulsive. Oh, I always get those two things mixed up. So you put a little garlic powder on here. And this is my first video, so I, I, uh, I know I'll get better as I go along. Don't want that, don't want that. Then I'm gonna add, uh, it's got some tomatoes in it, so I'm gonna add some tomatoes which means I have to get the can opener and open a can of tomatoes. And I'm not gonna put the whole can in. Okay. I'll get to that later. You know, when you're a teacher and you can't find something, you just move on to the next thing. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, I got some wine. Oh, olive oil. Olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. Everybody loves olive oil and it's over here. So I get the olive oil and I'm gonna throw a little bit of that in there. Just a little bit. Did I put the garlic salt in already? Yeah, I did. And, you know, you don't have to put the on until tomorrow. Um, and, so far this is what we have. Looks delicious, doesn't it? So let me see. Oh, and to make it a little more healthy, I want some vegetables in there. So I'm gonna get me some broccoli. And I use frozen broccoli because, did you know that, do I have any broccoli left? Yes, I do. That's strawberries. 
Did you know that frozen food is uh, healthier than, or just as healthy as, uh, fresh food? Because when it gets frozen, it's picked fresh and all the vegetables are frozen in there. I'm sorry. All the vitamins, minerals, and you know, all that shit that's good for you. See, here's some frozen broccoli and I'll put that in there. And let me see. I guess that's about it. Now I'm gonna have to put the, the crock pot on. It's one o'clock now and I want dinner at six o'clock. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, four or five hours will be good. This, this ought to be all melded together. And then when it's finished, I'm going to put cheese on top and hmm, I haven't figured out what else is gonna go on top. And uh, I hope you like my show and I'll be back with my next meal real soon.